yeah, my gaming PC isn't a Steam box. Um, the Xbox 360 controller is huge that I've been having where it just holds down right and doesn't recognize anything. You know, I thought that's just Steam. And then, you know, when I tried to play a game on Epic earlier, it also had the same issue. So I thought, well, maybe that's a Windows 10 update thing. So then I looked at how to mess drivers and find the drivers. I looked up the driver and it said it was being controlled by Steambox rather than the controller that it was meant to be. So I I tried to, to get it to, to change driver. There was no way of getting it to change driver. I tried to delete Steambox because I don't have a Steambox PC. <laughs> it's not a Steambox. Steam forcibly did this and it overwrit everything. Look, I can't mess with anything. It wouldn't let me delete that. So then I took away all its permissions. Because what harm could that possibly do? Because what what could Steambox possibly be, right? It, I, I assumed it just taken and hijacked the controller on a base level. How wrong could you be? So I removed all its privileges because I it wouldn't let me delete it, so nothing could read, write, or execute it. And then it removed the ability to use the keyboard, the mouse, and the controller. It, it removed all access to all peripherals. It, it, like, I didn't realise that Steam had hijacked on the base level all of that. So... I've plugged in extra mice, I've plugged in extra keyboards, which have installed their software, but again, because Steambox is on a root level hijacking everything, and so I've now removed the ability for it to execute, so now no keyboard, no mouse, nothing can ever affect my gaming PC, unless I literally reinstall it. Thankfully I've got a separate PC so I can you know put the the drive into that and like maybe force some things to happen or forcibly hunt down and delete Steambox forever and you know maybe then the things would occur or you know maybe I'm gonna leave it on overnight and like it's gone into uh, standby because there's no driver because you know, I can't do anything because nothing will trigger but yeah we will um I will leave it on overnight and hopefully it'll trigger a Windows 10 update which may fix things but if not I've got to take the drive out put a different drive in and forcibly reinstall the entire thing from scratch which is just even more annoying than <laughs> than what it is, because you know this PC doesn't have Steambox on, thankfully. But I'm not going to put Steambox on it to then copy and you know put all ports over to the other PC because oh my god, I can't believe it hijacked everything, everything, and you know obviously it broke controllers with its forcible ideas of what is correct there was no way to reconfigure the dead zones and make it correct like i tried all of that i tried things for hours and then you know the, the last update the last ditch effort was to delete that but then it bricks the entire pc and i can imagine a lot of you are gonna probably brick your pc trying to stop how windows have broke not windows how steam have broke controllers and steam have recreated the issue so they know that it's there and they know that they've created it but they're still not updating it weeks and weeks later which is why i was like well i want to play other games that you forced me to not be able to play so you know you forced me to do this to, to try and fix what steam broke but no steam have now broken my entire pc and now i'm gonna have to copy over either the entire windows directory from this pc over to that one and then reinstall everything from there and hope that it doesn't go, but this is a different PC and now you need another Windows 10 codes. Because that would be annoying. 
but hopefully I will not have to do that. But my god, I can't believe how bad Windows... Oh, Windows. I keep saying Windows 10 update because it's just natural. Normally Windows 10 update is the one that breaks it. And no, oh, this was all Steam. Steam have forcibly root command controls and hijacked every peripheral and turns my PC against its will into a Steam box, which it is not. And... But, you know, it, it shouldn't be Steambox. It shouldn't have Steambox hijacking the entirety of Windows. Because that is not how it was. And like you saw, it was in safe mode. I can't even do anything from safe mode. BIOS, I can't do anything from BIOS. It'll recognise my keyboard and mouse in BIOS. Because obviously it's not loaded by them. But there's no way of removing what Steambox done. And what Steam have done. And, you know, sure... I had some influence by removing its ability to read right next to you, but it shouldn't have been he base hijacking my keyboard, my mouse, and everything. It shouldn't have messed with the controller to fuck it up so that nothing would work. And, you know, now I'm just really, really depressed. <laughs> and, you know, <sighs> doing this last thing at night, and now I've been like an hour and a half stewing after I wanted to go to bed over this and still trying to fix it but there's literally no fix so now i'm gonna have to hope that windows 10 update occurs when it's outside of daytime hours and it will forcibly run an update and maybe that will overwrite whatever things steam has done recognizing that this is now broken perhaps but if not then i've got to mess about and piss about reinstalling another update which i don't need this shit in my life i don't need this shit i hate that steam have done this like why have you done this steam why have you done this not nice I'll see you again soon bye, bye i don't know if i'm ever gonna play anything ever again because who knows the entire game would be strict forever